We are all slaves. I am a slave. And so are you. Jesus says today, whomever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. Jesus, being God, is the perfect leader, and thus a leader will never ask his followers to do something unless he himself has first done it. Jesus invites us today to be first, and he invites us and challenges us to be slaves. Because Jesus himself is a slave. In Philippians chapter 2, verse 7, we read that Jesus emptied himself and took the form of a slave. If we think about how people conceptualize God, we don't often think of Jesus as a slave, but if we could hear the prayers of humanity, that's how the majority of us treat him. The most common prayer is the gimme prayer. God, give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this. And if you don't give me what I want, when I want it, I will dismiss you as my slave and find another. Jesus became a slave of all humanity. He washed our feet. He died for the one he submitted himself and served. And today, he tells us that we are called to be slaves. And the reality is, my brothers and sisters, we are slaves. The only question is this, who is your master? All of us are possessed, all of us are owned by something or someone. We all wear chains. The only question is, who possesses us? Who is our master? Who controls and determines our thoughts, our actions? Whom do we serve? We all wear chains. I wear them as well. I wear a chain because I desire to please other people. I desire to be loved. I desire to be liked. It controls my actions, my words, and sometimes possesses me. I'm a slave. So much so that sometimes I don't rest. I allow my desire for an empty desk or an empty inbox or a task accomplished to take me away from prayer, to take me away from my relationships, to take me away from being who I'm truly called to be. I am a slave. I'm a slave of my fears. I avoid conflict. I avoid making decisions that I know are hard. Because I don't want to deal with what could happen in my mind. I am a slave. I'm a slave of coffee. When I give up coffee for Lent or Advent, the days leading up to the beginning of each season, I literally just dread them more than anything. I don't know what will happen the next day at 5 o'clock in the morning. Will I die? I am a slave. 
There are two types of slaves. There is forced slavery, which our country knows all too well. And then there is volunteer slavery, where we choose and we allow ourselves to become a slave and a servant of something that is much less than who we were called and created to be. Do I look free? Because I'm not. The greatest change we wear and the greatest slaveries in our lives are the ones we hold hidden in the darkness. Alcoholism. Pornography. The unforgiveness of a friend. The hatred. The addiction to food. Our inability to believe that we're good or worthy of anything. We are slaves. 11 years ago, I was a young priest, and we offered a retreat. They were known as consumed retreats, and the theme for a consumed retreat about 11 years ago was called emancipation through consecration. The whole concept of the retreat was to introduce young people to the things that enslave them, and the things that will enslave them. And to encourage them to be set free of these slaveries and to choose to be consecrated as a slave of Jesus and Mary. To be emancipated from the things that enslave in this world and to choose freely to be a slave through consecration to Jesus and Mary. St. Louis Rita Montfort, a great French saint, began a devotion known as Holy Slavery, where individuals choose to consecrate themselves to Mary and Jesus as slaves. Many of our parishioners have gone through a program, a book study, and a 33-day process of prayer and preparation and consecration to Jesus and Mary as slaves. It's known as 33 Days to Morning Glory by a priest named Father Michael Gaten, who patterned this off of the work of St. Louis Rita Montfort. It's a tremendous, tremendous grace. I encourage it to anyone. If you want to consecrate yourself on December 8th, the Immaculate Conception, you start on November 5th. Take that as an invitation. Eleven years ago, at the end of the retreat that we had for these young people, about 300 young people, and they had heard talks and Eucharistic adoration and prayer and confession, and the last thing we did after the closing mass was we, want, we told them we wanted to make all of them slaves. Not slaves of the world, not slaves of pleasure, not slaves of drink, not slaves of food, not slaves of body image, but slaves of God. I had gone to Ace Hardware and I bought literally a spool of chain. And all the young people received chain. When I got home that night, I used a pair of pliers. And I can tell you that I haven't taken this chain off in 11 years. And it's called to remind me daily of who I voluntarily put myself in possession of. That I am a possession of a God who loves me, a God who died for me, a God who gives me everything I have and everything I need and everything I want. And it's only him that I am called to serve. And thus these other chains don't buy me. These other chains I'm called to cast off. For the one chain that will never leave my body. We were all slaves. The only question is who or what enslaves us? Who or what is our master? Today I invite you to become first 
by becoming the slave of all. By becoming the slave of our Lord. By choosing to live this consecration and doing so, finding joy, happiness, peace, and purpose.